Greetings, this is Timothy Young, the Digital Apothecary, and today I'm going to be doing one of my first videos on reviewing a medication adherence device. Um, so, the first product I'm going to be talking about is actually Pop It, and this is one that I've actually had on my radar for probably over a year at this current time. And it's a really interesting product because it's probably one of the few ones I've seen that has a very novel way of tracking adherence, so I'm really interested to test it out. But let's get going in terms of talking about the product, talking about the research and what's going on in the news before I actually show how the product works and we'll take it from there then. So Pop It is a Finnish based uh, startup company that is making this and their whole premise initially was really like oral birth control. They actually got started off of Indiegogo. Um, you could actually have seen them in a crowdfunding uh, page that they had in the past and you can look that up and they were uh, they raised money for this but um, Aside from that, they've actually been, um, it looks like it's to try to expand just beyond oral birth control at this current time. So the whole concept, I think it would be best if we just kind of look at the product itself in terms of what they have to mention. So let's bring this up. So it's a clip that basically fits on um, a strip package or a blister pack medication. Um, so it's supposed to attach this pill sheet. And as you can see, there needs to be some space for this to attach. And this is something I've actually been having some difficulty with that you'll see coming up. Um, then the, this is the science behind it, which is really interesting because you see here that basically they're saying there's these three sensors that basically work to detect when a medication is basically popped out, pop it, popped out of the uh, pill sheet. So, you know, compared to some of these other companies I've talked about, some of these other products that, you know, work with a pill bottle or whatever, these guys are basically saying, no, we have a pill sheet, and when you basically remove it, we're going to detect that a medication is removed. This is very interesting compared to some other companies like Avia, I think I've mentioned in the past. Um, they have a basically this container you put the pill sheets in, it can detect when medications are missing from the, th from the stuff. So this one's actually detecting movement, it sounds like and then I can basically see that there is a medication that's um, taken out. Um, it is relatively small, it's very light, um, and it's made out of plastic and it's not really got a lot of buttons on it. So basically how the app will work when I launch stuff for you guys is there will be cards on there that basically have the medication blister cards um, that you would be taking. Then there's a score that's assigned in terms of how well your adherence is being measured and tracked and then a schedule about when your medications are coming up and then there's a history that tells you about what's been going on. So it's pretty similar to almost all other companies I've seen here with just you know having a medication list, how you're tracking them, when they're due and whatnot. Um, one thing I'll say, and this, you guys are probably wondering this already, it's like, well, you know, I take medications but it doesn't come in the strip packaging, so you know, does this even apply to me? I would say if you're a US based uh, person, um, this product seems very off the wall because you're so used to uh, dealing with basically the amber vials and as I've mentioned in the past um, Europe and other countries they have their medications come in a box of uh, basically foil packed drugs already for a month's supply that's kind of a standard for overseas so this kind of fits them the other thing that might be most analogous to the United States would though be birth control a lot of birth control medications come in some kind of foil packaging or strip packaging and that might be the closest one that's analogous to the U.S. at this current time. But overseas, you see that a lot, though. So that kind of leads into similar things. But how much does this cost? It's $45 U.S. cost. Um, comes in a few different colors. Um, I think this is interesting because if you have a pop -it sense that you want to basically use, I'm looking at this and one thing that's catching my attention is if you have multiple medications or oral medications, you probably want different color devices, I would suppose, so that you know which one's clipped to what. Um, there's only four colors is another way for them to stand out. That's just a quick thought of mine looking at this. Now for research, if you Google Pop It, I mean if you go on PubMed and like just type in Pop It, you're not really gonna get anything. There was um, in uh, this open access text uh, journal there was a publication called Pilot Study on Demand uh, Reminder Systems Increases Adherence of Birth Control Pill Users. This was done back in 2000, um, so 2018 was published as such. I actually did a quick write up on this in Pharmacy Times, and you can find it there if you want for a quick summary. But, and I'll also link out to this article if you want to pull it up and look at it. But essentially, it was done in 2017 at a hospital in Finland and it enrolled 27 women. Um, who were using it for oral birth control for the first month and then they tracked their baseline adherence to therapy. After one month, the platform then basically kicked in um, to track and give reminders to the patients about their um, 
birth control um, in terms of um, reminding him and such. And what's really kind of cool is that it seems like it actually did show in a small sample some benefit in terms of once the reminder kicked on and start telling the women to take their medications, they actually improved a little bit. So I think there's some benefits here for that. And because of that, I think that's the reason why we're seeing Poppet move just beyond oral birth control. Uh, if you go on clinicaltrials.gov and look up Poppet, what you'll find is that there's actually um, back in Finland, in, I mean, uh, back in Helinski, um, there's a study going on looking at anticoagulant drugs and diabetes type 2. Now, each group's going to have 50 patients in them, and they're basically going to look at and see can this reminder help them out with medication adherence. So, this is interesting. In the beginning of the study, this reminder system is collecting the data on how the patients are taking their medications for the first two months. Very similar to the other study I talked about. For one month, it was like a roll in for how they're using oral birth control. Um, and then what it looks like is after two months, it will be unlocked and start reminding the user to take their medications at the right time. It's almost like a semi-crossover study design. I kind of like that because it's like a roll-in, then you're going to see how much baseline adherence and then you're going to uh, put them on it. Um, in a phase uh, where the patients can view the medication data for an application, uh, and that's going to last for two months. After these two months, the results were going to be analyzed and published. Um, and the primary outcome is a possible change in adherence between control and active period. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. I think... Um, it's going to be interesting to see this one coming out. Again, this is a relatively small um, study. It's only 100 patients, but it's in a very different population that I've seen this type of technology being uh, addressed to. This is going to be definitely a more European-based study, though, as I mentioned about the types of drugs that are available to them. And I think that leads into some next issues is that, take, for instance, back in, um, when was this? This was in December. There was a meeting going on, and basically Pfizer and Poppet were on stage talking about collaboration. And then a few days ago, we saw on MediSafe, I mean, Moby Health News um, on June 24th, a article talking about the fact that Pfizer and Poppet are going to be working together um, on rheumatoid arthritis medications. That's that's interesting. I mean, um, I think it's going to be interesting that they're going that route and they're going to be testing it. And I think the fact that Poppet is making some inroads into Pharma and pharma is always looking for technology to help out improvement of adherence for their uh, patients. If this is a good fit for how some medications are um, put out, then I think that might be, you know, something valuable to look into. So that brings me up to speed about what Poppet is, what their technology is, how much it costs, what research has been published so far, what research is going on, and what pop, um, partnerships are in pharma. So that being the case, let's just go into it and let's actually start looking at this device and see how it actually works and, you know, see if we can pick up some other things. Okay, so let's just start looking at this product. So this is how Poppet comes. It comes in this case. You can basically open it up and you can see they're giving the, uh, what it looks like when you actually have it on a strip. And then you can just put this thing and pop it right off. And then there's some user manual. So I actually already had one, but I thought I had lost it, and the company was kind enough to actually send me another one. So this is a green one, and then here's the basically setup guide about how to do all this. Oh, look at all this. Okay, well, I'm going to download the app and get this thing running, and I'm going to try testing it on these two stuff. So give me one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. It actually took me a little bit to figure out what I was doing wrong, but apparently I was not attaching it correctly. So I'm going to show you how to set this stuff up. So first you would add medication. Now what's interesting is I think the medications uh, that Papa is pulling from is from the European uh, market because some things that are being listed here are not accurate for us in the United States. Um, but for this sake, I'm going to just do a test and show you. Like, so if I label this like a probiotic, um, and I'll just put that down, hit done. And there's about 15 medications in this sheet that we're going to be using here. Um, but we're going to say that there's only nine remaining. Okay, done. So now you have medication in there. Now, to connect the poppet, it's actually pretty straightforward. So you just take this thing, take it to your phone, you just press the side button, and it connects. And one thing I would say is I've been playing with this thing, and that thing is pretty much streamlined. Uh, that does not make any issues. So then you would just attach pills, and then... Um, to get all set up. So I'm going to show you um, how to do all that. So basically, I've been playing with this, and like you can see, there's a bunch I was trying to get this thing going. I was making this issue. So you're supposed to. There's two needles in here, 
and at least you need one to connect, but I think both connect to get um, basically uh, a better sensor. So what I'm going to do is you have to basically put it in and then you have to press, so the back, back bottom is to um, pop open the needles and this front bottom here you press it. And that actually makes it secure. So now the needle's locked in. I cannot get both though, so one's in there. So this thing now recognizes that there's a medication hooked up. Now, um, it's making a bunch of noises and everything else, but the whole concept is the fact that this thing is supposed to sit down as soon as it senses motion and then someone's playing with it and such, it's going to recognize it's being turned on. So I'm going to go back here real quick. So I'm going to go back home. And while I was setting this up, I noticed that it says that I took a lot of medication. So I just have to clear this out. And what we're going to do now is we're going to set a reminder on this. So we'll just say add a new reminder. It is 243. So I will just move this to 2.45 p.m. Bear with me, people. All right, and then you can put down dosage. So if you took more than two, um, basically um, what would end up happening is, so I'm just going to set this to the side while I talk. What would end up happening is, um, from what I understand from the manufacturer is that if you have more than one medication take as soon as you pop them all out then it's assumption that you have taken three um, so it's really kind of on um, kind of like on the person to like put it there so that is some limitation I would say in terms of how, if it truly sense how many are being popped out one time it really doesn't um, the more that the needles are going in the more sensitive it is you have to make sure you lock it in, otherwise it's kind of like a, it's going to be an error. Uh, I also message a manufacturer, they're saying that this thing has about a years long battery life, which is pretty impressive, I'd say for a watch battery right there. Um, and then other things to consider is the fact that um, the more that I was basically um, playing around with this thing, and uh, so there, so now it's saying, do you take your medication? But you're noticing it's not making any noises or anything, it doesn't light up. Um, so what it, it will remind you on your phone. So then what you would do then is you would pick this thing up. Uh, so it's not right now knowing that I'm doing something. And then basically, as soon as I remove that, it now senses that I took a dose. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's, let's, let's be frank, that's pretty cool that it can do all that. Um, I'm really interested to see how this might work uh, for some medications. Like obviously for birth control this will work pretty better. Um, but a lot of you notice medications are dispensed in, you know, the ubiquitous pill bottle. So not really going to help there. But for the European market and a lot of other markets across the world that use a lot of these strip packaging, um, blister packs uh, for medications, this is going to be an easy thing. Okay, right, guys. So that basically wraps up my review of Pop It. Um, the one thing I'll say is a takeaway from this thing. What I have noticed is the fact that, like, if I'm so it's still synced. If I'm playing with this thing a lot and shaking it around, it does think that I'm removing doses. So that's one thing I might be a limiting uh, form factor. Um, based on some things I've been able to understand from the device, it's kind of like almost like it's supposed to sense like, in, like how it actually be used. So if you start basically spraying your mouth a lot, that don't mimic like you know putting in your purse or putting in your pocket and taking it out, then it's going to start getting some irregular data uh, messaging. So. I don't know. It's, it's an interesting device. It's definitely um, something that I think is very different I've seen compared to other medication adherences um, that for digital health what's out there right now. So I think it's very promising to see what they're trying to do. I'm very interested to see how this might play out further for like Pfizer and for others that might use it in like clinical de uh, design or for research. So I don't know, let's see where it goes, um, but this is popular. I, I think it's very cool. I think there's a lot of promise here. Um, I'd be very interested in the sensor thing that has to be worked out a little bit more in terms of like if it has to be able to detect multiple openings, if that's something they might be having, they, you know, they're going to look into in the future. So anyway, this is Timothy Youngs from the Digital Apothecary, and take care and have a good day.